Crafty Babes, Andrea here to walk you through a little watch me work today. I am playing with issue number 29 printables from Crafty Babe magazine and we are just making a little unpocket page layout here. I've got a couple of photos of Charlie and she loves her walks and I wanted to document that every single day <laughs> she is right on schedule with asking to go for a walk. So part of this layout is a standard like grid situation where I've got the three by four card and the photo kind of making a good solid grid foundation uh, along with that four by six everyday card which is part of the printables. And then I'm trying to create some different clusters around those things. So um, I also like to not only keep the grid you know as the foundation but also then just use smaller bits and pieces to fill in and not every single open area needs to have a three by four card or a photo so that's where I like to use a lot of the little things like we've got these little mini memos the the tall purple um, piece and the little pink piece that are perfect for filling out little things uh, also trying to fit in where I can use um, a couple of the stamps from issue number 29 and also the My Routine stamp. And uh, yeah, just trying to see what else is going to work here. I love using the, like I'm going to say this a million times, I love using the 3x4 cards and the 3x4 photos as a base. And then from there you're just building on top and I love being able to um, let things hang over onto different, you know, different cards and different areas. It, not everything has to be contained inside, you know, the area that you designated for that. Um, I just love being able to kind of piece and puzzle my way through <laughs> adding the things that I want to add. Um, so here I'm going to use the My Routine stamp which has been restocked three times now. And by the time you see this, it may or may not still be in stock, but I will link it again. Uh, if it's been uh, sold out again, then add yourself to the wait list. And I go in and check that periodically. And if there's enough uh, on the wait list, I'll, I'll go ahead and restock. So, uh, but what I realize is that I just think that that contrast is too much right now. And I'm just kind of not loving, I'm not loving that stamp on the pattern paper. So I'm just kind of mulling over what else I might do. Um, but you'll see me remove that here in just a sec. Even though I do like work, the, <laughs> I, try, I do try, I try to work it out. Uh, and I was considering just stamping that same little box stamp right onto uh, the notebook itself. But just kind of interviewing everything first and decided, let me glue everything down. Let me get, you know, my structure solid <laughs> so that I don't have a million things kind of like moving around on me. Um, and like sometimes, like what you just saw me do, I've got three little things there in that cluster. And if I have the, the clustering right, I will just, I will just hold everything and then just throw a staple on it. To me, um, it adds just a nice little touch and it makes it easy and I don't have to like glue everything down and figure out the right, um, you know, the right spacing that I had before. Like if I have it perfect, <laughs> then I will just pick it up and staple. Um, but also just adding little clusters of flowers up in some open spaces and just making sure that my, my foundation is good here. I like this, um, what I've got going on on the bottom right here is kind of like three small columns, three thin columns. So I've got that one, you know, and it's not really like meant to be columns, but it's kind of just a, kind of how it worked out as far as sizing is concerned. And to add a little bit of something different than just the three by four squares, you know, or the three by four rectangles. So adding a little... You know, it's almost like adding a different shape. You're you're drawing the eye there and, you know, using those Polaroids to bleed onto another part of the layout is great. It's, it's like everything can live on everything else. 
if that makes any sense. So those things are all glued down and, and I just had some sort of struggle here with this middle bottom situation. So I'm kind of just feeling everything else out, adding stuff where I feel like it might need to go and just figuring out what I'm going to do here. You can tell with the finger tapping <laughs> that I'm thinking. Um, I end up going back to this little tiny idea card, or I think I think it's day. I can't I can't see it from here, <laughs> but it's just one of the little mini memos, and this is what I started with. So sometimes you do have to interview other things, and then you end up coming back to your original your original little idea, which is totally fine. Um, so here I'm just adding a couple of stamps from. The issue 29 routine stamp and then I'm going to do a little bit of journaling up here to fill in some of that white space um, oh before I do that I actually filled in the days for this little mini memo card and I meant to go back and add the word walk to every single day and I got distracted and never went back and did it but that's what that was supposed to be. And now I'm just going to add some quick journaling lines on this everyday card. I, I, like the, dis, the, the squirrel situation with this layout is hilarious because I, I keep jumping around. But I think that that just means that I have an idea and I need to make sure I get it executed. And that's totally fine. There's no like, you don't have to, um, you know, complete something you know, just because you started it, you can always jump back to it. I knew I was going to go back and add the journaling, but sometimes you just feel like, oh, I have this quick idea. Let me make sure I get it done. Because if that idea goes away, girlfriend, you might never find it again. <laughs> At least I know that to be true for me. I just have to make sure if that spark happens that I get in there and, you know, execute. Because the journaling... It always comes last for me anyway. It's, I never even really make room for journaling. Um, it's kind of just an afterthought. That's just kind of the way my brain works. I'll make room for like a little, you know, blurb like this, but um, nothing too major. So anyway, this, this is just a fun way to document me walking my dog every day. But that's what's cool about the Issue 29 printables is that they're cool for any kind of routine. Anything you do regularly, anything you do every day, anything about your schedule, your timing, it's all perfect. So grab your Issue number 29 available in my shop in digital format. You can print and play right away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.